Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Matt, here, and welcome to a brand new Matt movie here on the Matt's Movies channel. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the Avengers Infinity War Hulkbuster Smash Up Lego set. So, yesterday, uh, no, wait, not yesterday, whatever, but a couple days ago, I think it was like two days ago, um, I got this set, and it is extremely cool. I have just built it, it's sitting right here next to me, and it's really cool. So, I thought, you know, I'm going to start doing some Lego set reviews for, like, maybe some of these upcoming sets. And I decided, you know, since I have this, I'm going to do this one. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, first, we're going to start off with the actual builds for the set. So, since this is the Hulkbuster smash-up, Hulkbuster smash-up, why don't we start off with the Hulkbuster itself. And it looks amazing. Absolutely incredible design. It looks better than the first one. I mean, the first one was... It was good, but this one is way better because it just looks amazing. Absolutely incredible. I love all the cool new design they went for. It. The head mold as you can the head design as you can see right here. Whoops. Oh, it looks really nice with all those like silver and red des red designs and gold. It's really cool. I like the the arc reactor piece right here with sort of like that. And these gray designs right here looks really nice. As well as right down here. This part can actually open up. So the head opens up, and it looks uh, better than the first one because, you know, this time it actually has this piece. These gears I'll talk about in a second. Um, but right here is where you can place your figure. So you can take, for example, Bruce Banner, who's the proper pilot for the Hulkbuster in this film. Um, but yeah, so you can take him, uh, close it up like this. Uh, whoops. Uh, close the head, and then boom, he's in there. We'll take a look at Bruce Banner in a second, but then right here you can see some cool, like, red shoulder pads. It would've been cool if they made these black pieces gold, but, yeah, it's still cool. But I love the new gauntlets. The gauntlets right here are sort of, like, gold, same on the other side. And I love these amazing designs. Like, look at how awesome that looks. It's sort of like an arc reactor thing. And the hands have the same sort of design. The fingers, as you can see right here, open up. That's really cool. I love how, instead of doing, like, an actual, like, uh, like, in the, from the previous one, from Age of Ultron... Uh, they had, like, these sort of, like, circle pieces, but instead they decided to give them a tile, which is awesome. I love that. So cool, man. And the fingers are the same, um, but, yeah, so they can close up and you can make a fist, which is very cool. Now, the cool thing is that the arms are attached to these gears. Well, just one arm is attached to this gear back here. You can see this little thing here, and if you turn it, it rotates this hand. So how cool is that? So you can, like, whoosh, like this. Create like a punching motion as you turn it. That's why, like those. That's what I was telling you guys before with the gears. Some more cool designs on the legs right there. The via sticker work. Some cool stuff on the body. We can see these little translucent pieces to kind of represent the repulsors. You've got like the feet, which look really cool. And some cool designs in the back with like gold and everything. And yeah, it looks really nice. So overall, this is amazing. Absolutely incredible design. I kind of wish that maybe like these pieces, these beige pieces, were gold. But it's still cool. It looks pretty nice. Alright, so that's the Hulkbuster, which is amazing. Now let's move on to the cannon shooter. So this is basically the cannon shooter that's operated by the Outriders in this set. Um, and it comes with this cool like little ball piece. And if you press it... Come on. But if you press it, it unleashes the ball. Like that. Which is very nice. Just grab that. But yeah, so there we go. And the cool thing is that it's hooked up to this joint, so, like, you can attach it like this, or you can take it off and, like, move it up and down, which is pretty nice. And I love these cool, like, stickers. It looks really nice with these stickers. It's pretty cool. I love this design down here as well. This cool, like, purple piece. Back here, you can see a cool little storage compartment that comes with the Soul Stone, which is really cool. So you actually get a mini Soul Stone, and you can use this on the Infinity Gauntlet in the in the Thanos Ultimate Battle Set. You can get all the Infinity Stones and put them all together. Yeah, which is really nice. And the interesting thing is that it's cool how the Soul Stone came in this set because you know, like as we um, because the Hulkbuster scene from the movie takes place in Wakanda, and th and since the set is kind of based around that, the Soul Stone comes as a set. So it kind of makes me think like. Most likely it's in Wakanda, because we still don't know, like, where the Soul Stone is. Unless it's been, unless, like, but yeah, so we currently don't know about it, but yeah, that's what I'm just thinking. But yeah, right here is where the pilot can go. You can pilot, like, maybe an Outrider there to, like, shoot them, to, like, fire away, like, pew pew or whatever, so yeah. 
But yeah, so pretty cool. So yeah, there you guys have it. Those are the builds for this. Now let's move on to the characters. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at all four characters that come in this set, which is really cool. So now we're going to start off, so we're going to start off with, of course, Bruce Banner. And I think Bruce Banner's design is pretty awesome. Uh, he looks really nice. He definitely does have that cool, like, Mark Ruffalo um, kind of, like, um, designed to him, because, you know, Mark Ruffalo is the Hulk, so, yeah, pretty cool. I love this cool, like, hair piece. Uh, he has two expressions. He has this sort of, like, calm one, and then this one right here is sort of, like, him going Hulk mode, as you can see with, like, the green eyes and everything. He's, like, very angered. Uh, might as well just flip it around so you guys can see right there. Pretty cool. He has sort of, like, a, he has sort of, like, a similar costume to, I guess, what he wore in, I think it was, like, Thor Ragnarok. But yeah, so you can see he has his, like, hands, he's got his co cool, like, black jacket with a gray sort of, like, shirt underneath, and these black pants. But yeah, so a pretty cool design for him. Alright, now we're gonna move on to an Outrider. So yes, in this DLC, uh, sorry, sorry, in this set, sorry, I'm getting confused a little bit. Uh, in this set, we of course get an Outrider. And I think the Outrider looks really awesome, really cool. I love that face design, how it's sort of like the mouth is like the whole face with sort of like that golden design and the black and everything. It looks really cool. And obviously, Outriders, I think they have like six hands, so they gave him. Obvi they obviously used like a regular Lego torso, but then they had this cool back attachment, which basically uh, allow you to attach these cool like four arms to give it sort of like that six arm. Motif, which is really cool. So you, it's like the separate piece that you can use to like move around these, which is really nice. And obviously, you get these. Um, and obviously, there are these really cool designs, which look really awesome. I really do like the golden kind of designs and the gray and everything. These cool like patterns and everything it looks really nice. Uh, obviously, there's no pattern on the. Well, actually, there is a little pattern on the back, as you can see right here. Again, with some cool, like, patterns and everything. Or patterns, or, uh, it's really cool looking. So, yeah. Very nice with sort of, like, that golden pieces and everything, just, like, on the front. And really cool. And nothing, no detail on the legs, unfortunately. Even though that would have been nice. But, um, oh, and there's some cool designs on the back of the head as well. Which look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, no designs on the legs. But, yeah, pretty cool design. Alright, now we're going to move on to another one of the villains in this set, and that is Proxima Midnight. So Proxima Midnight is one of the members of the Black Order, which is, of course, a group of Thanos' adopted children. And I gotta say, her design is really awesome. I really like her blade. It's sort of like a dual-wielding, a dual-bladed blade, and it looks really nice. I really do uh, like this design. It looks pretty awesome. Her face is pretty awesome with sort of like the red eyes and the pink and everything. And so obviously she's got blue hair with these cool like horns sticking out of it, which I think just look awesome. I mean, look at that. Uh, then she of course has her torso with the black kind of designs and the white designs. Um, and it looks really cool with sort of like the, these little like white pieces. Same continues onto the back as you can see. Obviously, this arm right here is white, but this arm is gold, and you can see some cool like gold design right there on her chest, and it looks really cool. Her, she obviously has black gloves. No designs on the leg, legs again, unfortunately, but, yeah, overall, pretty cool character. And now we're going to move on to the final character that comes in this set, and that is Falcon. So, yes, we do actually get another Falcon, which is pretty awesome. And I guess I'll just put him there because his jetpack's in the way. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, Falcon looks pretty awesome. I really do like his design. He obviously has the cool, like, goggles, as you can see right there, the red ones. He's got the falcon hair, and he's got sort of like a darker design than I think what he had in Civil War, the Civil War version of him. But I think it looks awesome with sort of like the red designs, and again, the designs on his like, um, jacket sort of thing. Well, not jacket, but his, um, his suit. But yeah, uh, it looks pretty awesome with sort of like the silver, the black, and the gray. No designs on the legs or the arms, unfortunately, again, but still cool. And obviously, he of course has his giant jetpack, which has, uh, which has like a pretty massive amount, which which has some pretty cool uh, sticker work as you can see right here. I love these cool designs. We start like the gray and the silver again. It looks really cool. He has these so cool like propellers on the back. This cool thing, which can't actually come off, and it, it's sort of like Red Wing, which is his sort of like uh, remote control like robot that he has, which is really cool. Again, some cool designs here, and yeah, so. Yeah, so there's Falcon. So that is pretty awesome.
So there you guys have it. That is my review for the Hulkbuster Smash Up Lego set for Avengers Infinity War. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. That would be appreciated. And definitely let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this set. Do you like it? Do you not? I personally think it's a really cool set because we get some really cool figures. We get, of course, the new Hulkbuster, which is awesome, as I mentioned before. And it just looks so cool, so I'm very, very happy with it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and peace out, and I will see you later.